Graham, welcome back. Um, first off, when did you become aware of uh, John Caulfield's interest? Um, I think it was wasn't too long before the Rangers game, um, and it came out. Well, there's always rumours and stuff like that. And my dad had said it to me a couple of times, um, but I'd never really heard of it. And then, kind of spoke to John just before I played Rangers. I don't know what the date of that is. Um, and then I met him the week later and uh, everything just progressed by that and I think within a week it was all basically mm. happy days like that kind of way and it was all kind of settled. Did John have too much to convince you? No, I don't think he had to convince me. I just think he just sold the club to me as in, in terms of just telling me what's been different in the club like that and I was really impressed. Um, and the way he even spoke of what he expects of me kind of boosted my confidence a bit. Um, mm. And that's... Like, like I said, I know the club. I think it's different when you don't know the club, really, and some people need to be shown around. But he literally just told me how it's improved, that kind of way. And I was already impressed with Cork before I ever, like, left the mm. club. So I knew exactly how big a club it is. So mm. it's not. it doesn't take much convincing. I've always said it's, it's the biggest club in Ireland. So, like, I always wanted... I, my aim was to come back here someday and... It just got done this year. And it's been six years since you've left. Was it always in the back of your head that you wanted to come home and finish the career here? Yeah, I think everyone always wants to finish with their hometown club, that kind of way. Um, like I said, it's it's been where I enjoyed my football the most, obviously, because it's been my most successful time as a footballer. And uh, I always, like I said, I want to come back as well and I want to be in good shape that I can actually contribute properly to the team. I don't want to be a bit power player who's just like seen out their retirement days, mm. which which does happen, lads' legs goes and things like that. But um, I, I want to come back and I want to win trophies again, is the main aim. Was the last time you touched the ball for Cork City that header against Shelburne? Yes, it was, <laughs> to be fair. Um, and like I've always said with that game, it was just topsy-turvy, but it's, it's, yeah. it's the moment of my career so far. Um, said it was unaware it was so late in the game, I honestly thought there was still about 20 minutes left. Mm. Um, but it is a nice way to touch it. Hopefully, you know, if I can get my first touch against like Pats in the league, be a goal, be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I just don't take the tip off at the start <laughs> of the game. It'd be all right. But uh, no, it was, it was a good way uh, to leave City. I think um, I think when I did leave, that it was all on good good terms as well, and uh, that's that's important. Like I said, the relationship with me and the club was, was always brilliant, and. That's, that's what I want to continue now. The club has changed a lot in that six years since. There's still a few survivors from that team as well. What was it like walking back into the Cork City dressing room again? Um, a bit daunting first when I came in because I was the only person in the building. <laughs> <laughs> At like 20 past eight, I thought there'd be a lot of traffic. Um, but it was it was fine. Like I said, you get in and if you know two or three lads, they just sit in a group and you mm. just start sitting. You just, just start chatting to everyone. Like I said, when you're from Cork as well, like you just feel at home straight away and the important thing for me was just to get to know the lads and it hasn't really taken long like you you literally could take two or three weeks sometimes to even before you say hi to someone but uh i've just settled in like i said it feels like i've just never been away really are you under pressure a bit considering shawnee mcguire's exploits last year to come in and start scoring goals straight away some people will put me on the pressure comparing me to sean but like i said he was the standout player in ireland I don't think anyone can compare to him, what he's done. He was top scorer after only playing half a season. Um, I put pressure on myself to perform. Like I said, I've come back and I want to play and I want to win trophies and I want to be scoring goals. There's there's my pressure. It's not, I don't need someone in the crowd or anything telling me this is what you have to do because yeah. I know I've not come back to like basically go, you're all right if you don't play well, if you sit in the bench and you don't win games, That's that's grand. But that's not the case and I know that's not the case so um, it's a good pressure because I've been at clubs where we haven't been challenging for trophies and I want to feel that kind of pressure on me and it's it's a good place to be in I mean that's the kind of pressure you want it's not pressure of being in relegation zones or just pressure of just like turning up every week <laughs> really like How has your game evolved do you think in the, the six years you've been in the UK? Um, I think you learn a lot of uh, just how to use your body is one thing. You actually can be stronger without being strong sometimes. Um, technically aware, a lot more. Pressing, when to press, when not to go. When to make runs, not to make runs. You do learn a lot and you learn 
like a lot of what your opponents are actually like what they'll do to you off a ball mm. and things like that it's just you do become a lot more aware of things and I think to be fair the thing I've just learned a lot most times is how to conserve energy sometimes mm. as well where we're wasted energy and things but um my fitness obviously is, is better because I was part time mm. uh, but I would hope it'd be better <laughs> um but yeah but like I said I think I think you learn everything and you like experience and can't believe I'm one of the oldest players now in the team is the bad <laughs> thing. Say, yeah. I was literally saying that like when I was at St. Johnson, I was just scraping into the middle age team, but no, nah, second <laughs> oldest outfielder now. Yeah, you Mark McNulty. Me and Mark McNulty and Benno, so I was like <laughs> the old man Jesus. I actually thought I was young and I was still young at heart though, is ah, the thing, so isn't it? Yeah. Are you playing against UCC tomorrow? It's gonna to be Finn Harps on Saturday. Uh, I do not know that yet. Um I you're gonna tell me anything. Not that I would tell you, but to be fair, I don't know yet because I, I've had two hard days of training now without doing anything for two weeks mm. and really, realistically, without doing anything for a long while in terms of games. So I'll have to just see because obviously I'm an old person now, you know. <laughs> uh, but no, it's like I'll just wait and see. That's the way things are. And obviously you've come here to, to win trophies with your hometown club. What's the target for you this season? Um, as a team, you want to win every trophy. That's that's why like going to every competition wanting to win. You want to win every single game. Probably isn't, mightn't be possible to win every game, but that's the way we are. I mean, we're the champions now. You don't go into any game thinking a draw is a good result. Uh, everyone's going to be looking at us as the team to beat. And um, realistically, that's what you aim for. You you want to win every game and every trophy that's possible. And Champions League football and Turner's Cross is a, an exciting prospect. Yeah, it's it's brilliant for the players and I think for the fans as well. I mean, it's been Europa League for the last few years and that was that was amazing. Um, and Champions League football is the top the pinnacle of mm. European football. Like, and hopefully we can do really well, get through a few rounds and that. And as well as it's it's not important just for the players, but it's important for the club and the city. It really will get Cork recognised around Europe. Listen, Graham, thanks very much and uh, very best of luck. Thanks very much.